Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. This video is a review of the panel handler from Shop Carts USA. I've been making cabinets and shelving units to try to get my shop more organized and for the first time in a long time this panel handler is empty and I thought this was a perfect time for a review. This is not a sponsored video. This is simply a user review of the Shop Carts USA panel handler. This particular unit is for four foot wide panels and uh, they make several models, but I actually purchased this used. It's been in my shop for at least six years and I thought I'd share with you uh, the functions of it and help you make a decision of whether a device like this is right for your shop. So let's get to it. Okay, the, the panel handler cart from Shop Carts USA is mobile. It's got two swivel casters on the end that I'm in and two fixed casters on the opposite end. They're large diameter, they're approximately six inches. And I use this to not only store sheet goods and handle sheet goods in my shop, but to transport them from a, deli uh, transport sheet goods from the delivery truck at the street up my driveway, which isn't exactly smooth in all places, to, to my shop. On the swivel end of the uh, cart, there is a floor lock, which you just push down and it locks it and you're supposed to do that before you rotate the panel just for safety. And the only, this is actually the only maintenance I've ever done on the shop is sometimes, particularly though this is loaded with sheet goods, since this lifts this end of the cart ever so slightly, if you got a heavy load and this cart will handle up to a thousand pounds and up to 10 sheets of three quarter inch sheet goods that are four by eight. Uh, this, the more load you've got on the, on the cart, the more difficult this is to lock in position and to release. And the only maintenance I really have done on this in the time of it's been in my shop is to lubricate this mechanism with a spray lubricant and I use uh, TriFlow, which is a Teflon based lubricant. And to release that, you just kick the uh, release. There's a pad on either side. Uh, I would advise using substantial footwear uh, when you do this. If you like to wear flip-flops or sandals in your shop, this, uh, this, was, this will likely hurt you. I, I like to wear uh, composite-toed safety shoes. Uh, this was, this is not original equipment. Uh, this was actually missing from the panel handler when I purchased it. And so I just went to a tractor supply place and purchased a hitch pin that would fit that mechanism. And that locks this in the vertical position to rotate it to horizontal. You just pull that pin out and I'll go ahead and do it since it's locked. There's a locking mechanism here, which is a, which is a pin. This is the pin retracted position, you just pull out, rotate 90 degrees, and that pin locks into this hole when you uh, rotate this. While the cart's in the vertical position, uh, this has a hydraulic jack that lifts the whole frame. It's actuated by this foot pedal, and this is the release that drops it down. Uh, this has a scissors mechanism that keeps the frame from racking when you're lifting and lowering uh, this panel. And before this card actually had a different one, it was uh, sold by Haifla. Honestly, it was just cheap. It did not have this scissors mechanism, and it just wasn't the smoothest, smoothest thing in the world. But it, again, it was about half the price of this, so uh, that's, uh, that's a decision you'll have to make for your shop if you want to choose a panel cart. Functionally, they were pretty much the same. So once the cart is locked in position, uh, the, uh, the pivot point is 18 inches from the pivot point to the base of the unit, which means most of the mass of your sheet goods, particularly if you've got more than about three or four stacked on here, it becomes top heavy when you rotate it. So you just need to be aware of that when you make this operation. 
and there's a caution here to rotate slowly. It is manageable. Uh, this is designed to hold 10 sheets of three quarter inch material. The most I've ever had on it is eight sheets. So to rotate it, uh, one thing I will note that this has a tendency to hang up. When this goes all the way down, there's a couple of carriage bolt heads that interfere with this bar on the bottom. And I'm not sure what, what that, whether there may have been some spacers in here that were gone, but it, it tends to go just slightly too far down. So in order to rotate, I'll just give that half a stroke and this, uh, this panel handler, those bars will clear. So you rotate this down in position. And right now, most of the mass is there because the cart has no, no load on it. But generally, it's actually, this is a little harder to move than now empty than it is with loaded. So then you pull up that pin and rotate it uh, to lock it in position. So now this is locked in the horizontal position. I will comment that because of the, the length of this panel, this is a little bit awkward to get to with sheet goods loaded because it's sticking out to about here and it's hanging over about two feet on the end. Uh, it's doable. I'd also comment that the foot pedals, despite the location of this, you've got to watch your shin, particularly if you have a melamine sheet goods on the bottom because that, that, those edges become quite sharp. So you just operate the foot pedal to raise this. And the stroke, the stroke of this, I believe, is about eight inches. When you're done loading your sheet goods, just put your leg under there and actuate that foot pedal to lower it. Again, on the, on the previous unit that was sold by Haifla, it thing would sit there and it would it would want to rack back and forth and not, not fall as smoothly as that. And it actually goes down much faster when it loads on it for obvious reasons. So once that's done, you reach under, pull this pin, and then rotate your, your panels back vertical. Put the safety pin in. And now it's locked in position. That foot pedal swings up out of the way. You kick that and move this away from your saw. Overall, this, this makes handling large, bulky, and heavy sheet goods uh, doable by one person. You don't need a helper. And it uh, I, I'm just, I'm very satisfied with this. this. This one's the four foot panel version. They do make this model with extension units for longer panels. Obviously I do not have that. They also make a version for five foot panels. And the reason for that is this is optimized for four foot because of the pivot location. The five foot panels, this needs to be higher. To, to just to get that, keep control of the, uh, the panels. I use five, pan five by five panels on this. You just can't load 10 sheets on it. I find I've had as many as five panels on it and it pivots just fine. It's a little more awkward to reach, reach the pedals from with a five foot panel because obviously it's sticking out a bit further but the accessibility of the uh, uh, horizontal lock is much better. So overall, if you're a one-man shop and need to handle sheet goods, I think this is a good investment. It's definitely high quality. I've been very pleased with it. And uh, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Um, because even in my younger days, handling those uh, large, bulky, heavy sheet goods it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. I thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll answer, answer them to the best of my ability. And have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.